Hello everyone, I'm Archangel and I want to talk a little bit about what happened, I mean what is happening with Helena Taylor and the careers of Payoneta, which, I don't know, it has become kind of a drama. And she was recently discovered that she lied about one of the informations that she gave about her salary and things like that. And I have to say that it has become, how can I say, I, I really don't know where to place my how can i say i don't know where to place my support because for one side i think the company platinum games is, is shady how they manage things and i think any any company that puts an nda in how much you get paid it's shady because why do you have to hide that <laughs> if you have to hide the game yes but I don't see how they justify that. Why you can't share how much you get paid. And from her part, I think that it's, I think it's pretty bad that she lied. Um, even though I, I don't know what, what, <laughs> seriously guys, this is kind of complicated because from one side, um, the uh, director of the franchise, uh, Miyakami, is his last name, I don't remember, I'm going to put it on screen. He says, that oh the attitude of untruth i don't know that i find kind of hilarious when people try to say oh that person is lying but they don't say they are lying they say all the thing that implies that someone is lying because basically they don't want to say it because they don't want to get in trouble but i don't know i i, I don't know i find it a little bit interesting because why would you lie about that in any case it wasn't that much i don't find it that much and she says her. She also said that she has to go to conventions and ask people for money, to autographs, people things. I don't know exactly what, which I can understand. <laughs> I don't know. It's it sounds a little bit awful in my opinion. Um, I really don't know what else to say. I find bad that you have to hide how much you get paid through an NDA. And also that you get paid too low when you are the main voice of the character and basically and basically giving the attitude to the character. And finally, I want to, I don't know, wonder, is this going to affect the franchise in any way? I really don't know. I don't think so, actually, but it depends. It always depends because we have to remember not everybody lives on the internet like we do or in Twitter. <laughs> where this all happened basically. I want to say something about the article on Bloomberg and it's that, I don't know, I really, I'm really i really tired of people saying like, oh, I, I have my sources, believe me, bro, you know, call it a rumor, that's what it is, okay? Don't make yourself professional because that's what it is, it's just a rumor. Because from one side, maybe, and I think that's true, Helena cannot show her communications because maybe they are protected under NDA, and they just won't show any receipt either because they don't want to. So I think, yes, there's an attitude of untruth from both parts, in my opinion, which I think is pretty bad. I really... I, in, for example, um, Jennifer Howe, which I don't have anything against her, right? But she cannot say how much she gets paid. She gets paid anyway. So it's like, what? why do you have to hide <laughs> that? <laughs> and I get it. Um, saying how much you get paid is not going to solve anything. In any case, I think it, it will, it would have made the situation worse. But that's the thing. People don't take risks and voice actors will remain underpaid forever, in my opinion. Because uh, if you don't give yourself value and, I don't know, maybe if other people don't support you, it's going to be hard for the whole industry. I hope this wasn't, like, all mixed up. <laughs> oh, hard to understand. I just wanted to give my opinion, which is, I don't know, it's hard to believe either side but guys i think this is all for today thank you for watching see you in another video and have fun bye sorry for the noise in the background <laughs>